Police say they were all part of a major heroin trafficking ring, and today the suspects appeared in Mahoney County Court for the first time. Law enforcement rounded up many of them in a major bust on Wednesday. Prosecutors say their addictions not only impact their own families, but the entire community. Here's 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti. Two days after they were all indicted, 30 drug suspects appeared in court this morning, one by one taking their turns in front of a magistrate. And are not guilty plea to the assault count contained therein. For more than an hour and a half, the suspects all entered similar pleas. Most of them have been in jail since their arrests. Something they all share in common? Prosecutors tell me they're all drug addicts. I mean, as you can see, it was from all walks of life. Uh, it was, there was white, there was black, there was Hispanic. Uh, you had people from Youngstown, Canfield, Poland, I mean, every uh, suburb. Ironically, most of them have little to support themselves and their addictions. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I had a real job. Which prosecutors say creates a ripple effect throughout the community. And that's why you see the spike in, in the burglaries and, and robberies and thefts and things like that, because that's where they're getting their money from. What may make these cases different is the way the suspects were caught. Prosecutors say many arraigned this morning are charged with possession of criminal tools after being caught with wiretaps using their cell phones to buy drugs. We're going to use whatever the law allows us to use to, to combat this problem. Earlier this week, federal authorities indicated they would be focusing on those actually supplying the heroin being used on the streets. However, local prosecutors tell me their goal is to get those creating the demand for drugs the help they need. If we can get them treatment, get them away from using the drugs, not only are we reducing the, the cash flow to the drug dealers, but we're also reducing the, the crimes that come with drug use. Time will tell if that holistic approach actually works. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.